Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, then you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. What an exemplary organization you are devoting yourselves to the pursuit of peace and national security. I can think of no loftier purpose or goal. Ronald Reagan to the Center for Security Policy in 1995. Can anyone think of a loftier purpose or goal? That is why generations of Americans have devoted their lives, fortunes and sacred honors to the preservation of the United States in this multi-generational war for the free world. The Center for Security Policy has been dedicated for over 30 years to the national security of the United States via peace through strength, so our children and our children's children may live free and prosperous lives. There is no loftier purpose or goal. And the man who for 31 years has led the Center in the fight against every national security dragon that confronts America, sometimes at great personal cost, Frank Gaffney. Truly a great man, a great patriot, and a great American. And here is one of Frank's favorite songs, which exemplifies what he and the center are all about. It is my happy privilege to introduce a new song, God Bless America. While the storm clouds gather, The center goes to battle every day in the war for the free world by educating the media, politicians, and the general public too, and lobbying for peace through strength against the existential threats to America. If America does not succeed on every issue the center works on daily, electromagnetic pulses, nuclear arms, Sharia supremacy, then none of the other issues confronting America will matter much. Think about it. If we lose our electric grid to an EMP, the Congressional EMP Commission has estimated that 80% of Americans will be dead in a year. Social security, health insurance, the economy pale in comparison to the grave threats that confront America. Now the torch has been passed to a new president of the center to lead the fight. Another great American, Fred Flights. Fred's bona fides in the national security field are lengthy and impressive, but he needs your help. In order that we could have the abundant, secure, and beautiful lives we live, many generations of Americans have given their lives, fortunes, and sacred honors. Those are not original words. They are the last words of the Declaration of Independence. If we don't do the same, our children and children's children will not have the same. We are not asking you for your life or sacred honor, but we are asking you for your fortune, or a portion of it anyway. Please consider putting the center in your estate plan. There is no greater legacy you can leave for your progeny than funding the center in perpetuity so that the center can always pursue its mission of peace through strength and America can always be free. We pray that you will join us in this multi-generational war for the free world and remember the center in your estate plan. Thank you, and may God always bless America.